who's ready to play what's in the bag? Couple rules about what's in the bag. So the first thing is, is when you get the bag, you can look at it. So Riley's gonna start first, and we're actually, we're gonna start with Isabel, cause she's a birthday girl today. So you're gonna go first. We're gonna start at this end and we're gonna go down. Now don't worry, everyone is going to get a bag and you will also get to keep whatever's in the bag, okay? So when it's your turn, you'll go up and pick whichever bag you want, but you can't touch the bag before you decide to pick it, okay? So just like, what's your favorite number? My favorite number is nine. It's nine? Okay, go get your nine bag. Let's open it, see what's in it. It's a little hard, you could kind of rip it if you need to. What is that? It's the m &Ms. Do you like M&Ms? Good, okay, great. All right, you can go stand back, back where you were, that's good. All right, so nine's gone, M jar, and it's gonna be your turn. What's your favorite number, Lux? Three. I mean five. Which one? Five. Okay, go get five. Let's see what's in there. You can rip it if you want. <laughs> what is that? Chocolate. Do you, do you like chocolate? Yes. You do? So you're pretty happy with that gift? Okay, you go stand back where you were. All right, Miss Avery, what's it gonna be? Probably four. Four, okay, let's see what's in number four. What's in the bag? Are you nervous? <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. Do you like those? Mm hmm You pretty happy with that gift? Mm hmm All right. Okay. Next up, let's see, Gabby. What's your? Three. Three. Okay. Let's go check out three. Let's see what's in there. Are you nervous? A little. <laughs> well, it's all been candy so far, so. Oh, nerd. nerd. Do you like those? Yes. Pretty mm -hmm. happy. Okay. All right, Ava. Choose wisely. What are you, what's your favorite number left? Number two. <laughs> two, all right. Let's go see what's in number two. What, what is that? I love these. <laughs> Hold, hold it up so everyone can see that. What is that? Um, the potatoes. <laughs> Golden sweet potatoes and syrup. For dinner. <laughs> Christina, I don't know how you're gonna cook that, but what, what do, you, do you, how are you, how do you feel about that gift? Yeah, I didn't really need anything else. Oh, you didn't really need anything else. Okay, well, I like that attitude. Okay. Our, <laughs> All right, Bella, what's your favorite number left? One. Let's go see what's the number one. Now, are you nervous? Yes. <laughs> Bubble gum. Yeah, we like that. All right. All right. So you're pretty happy with that? Yes. Okay. Towns. I don't say answers. Okay, well, what number are you going to pick? Seven. Seven. Let's go check it out. You're fired. I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing. I believe you just said if this is something you don't like, I'm fired. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. How do you feel about that? Yeah, sure. Pretty good. All right. Colt, you ready to go, buddy? What number are you going to pick? Eight. All right, let's check it out. Eight's over here. I hope this is, okay. What do you got, buddy? Bubble gum. Ooh, and I know you like bubble gum, right? Are you happy about that? Yes. All right. Riley, last but certainly not least, you don't get to pick, but. Six. 
Let's see. What do you feel about that? I love it. You love it. All right, everybody, let's come sit in the circle and let's talk a little bit here. How did you guys like the game, What's in the Bag? You love it? You got your favorite candy? I got some. One of my favorites. Everybody got it. You come sit over here, MJ. I might not be able to eat this because I have a little girl. Yeah, so you all got pretty equal stuff except for, did you guys notice somebody got something a little bit different? Yeah. Ava got something a little bit different from everybody else. And she handled it with a lot of grace, didn't you, Ava? She said, yeah, my mom can make dinner out of this. I yeah. Round of applause for Ava. That's great. Okay, but let me ask you this. What if you opened the can of yams? What would you be thinking? I'm out of here. You're out of here? What would you be thinking? Bubble gum. Okay, but what if you got the yams? What would you be thinking? You guys all have a really good attitude. But what Ava has, I would... Doesn't know what to make for dinner. I'll just give it. But how would you feel that everybody got all this really cool candy and you got a can of yams? And honestly, it might be expired can of yams. You should check that before you eat it. How would you feel? You guys all think that this is cool that Ava got some non-candy gift. Yeah. M Jar, what do you think? You want to open it. Okay, well, you guys can do that in a little bit. But, you know, if that had happened to me, I would be thinking, this is really not fair, right? Yeah. Everybody else got these really cool gifts, and I got yams, and that's gross. Expired. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, growing up, have you guys ever had something happen to you where you thought, this is not fair? Has that ever happened to you? Big time. Yeah, it happens a lot. Yeah. One question. Where did you get all of this candy? Oh, well, that's my secret. Um, <laughs> so, and a lot of times you guys all said it happens to you a lot and where you think life's not fair or where you think things aren't fair, right? Well, you all know Miss Darla, and that's my mom, if you didn't know. And one of her favorite things to say when I was growing up was, well, life's not fair. Yes, so apparently that's still going hard in the paint today. Um, life is not fair. And have you, does your mom say that to you too? Yes. yes. And your siblings say it to you. So you hear that a lot, life's not fair. Well, I want to tell you there's a story in the Bible that Jesus told, and it's called a parable, which he used to tell these stories, and they may not have made a lot of sense, but they always, if you really thought about it, made some sense. And it's a, the parable of the workers in the vineyard. And so these workers went out in the morning, and the boss said, I'll pay you $10 for the whole day's work. And they were like, cool. You know, they needed the money. So they start working. And then the boss man goes out, and he finds more people. And he says, well, you start working, but these people were starting at noon, right? And he said, well, I'll pay you $10. So those workers went out. And then at 3 p.m., he went and found some new workers. He said, I'll pay you $10. So at the end of the day, all the workers get together, and the boss man hands them each $10. Does that seem fair? Some of those guys had been working all day, and some of them had just worked like two hours. That's not fair, right? And the boss man said, well, I'll spend my money however I want. Now, listen, I think what Jesus was trying to say there was is that life's not fair, and that's a really hard thing to understand, but guess what? It's a really great thing that life's not fair, right? Because if life were fair, would we deserve God's grace? We wouldn't, right? But because life's not fair, we get it anyway. God gives it to us, right? Whenever we make mistakes or do bad things, God can forgive us and we get to go to heaven. And that's pretty cool, right? So whenever you guys are thinking about life's not fair... I want you to remember that. That's a good thing. And also, um, Ava, I've got a, I, I'll make this up to you, honey. <laughs> All right. You guys could go on uh, out to children's message. But don't open.